it is a very good practice that you as a teacher keep your profile in Moodle updated as early as possible. So in this lesson we will see how you can update your profile. In Moodle 3.0 the profile page is available primarily through the drop down box available at the top of the page. When I open the drop down menu you can see the profile link. Click on the profile link to go to the profile page. By default you will enter the page in a view mode that is a read only mode. You can see here various profile items that were already configured for you when your profile was first created. You can see the courses which you are either teaching or you are a part of. For example, you might also be a manager into some other courses that you are not directly teaching. We will see more of that in a later lesson on roles. There is also a section here that lists other content related links that you would be a part of such as blogs that you have created or discussions from your courses. If any reports are available to you they are also listed here. Finally some information on your login activity is shown to you at the bottom of the profile page. Having seen all of this now let us see how to edit the profile. You will first click on the edit profile link which will put the page into an editing mode. The edit page is divided into a few sections starting from the general section then the user picture, additional names, interests and some optional settings. The general settings are your basic information. A good place to add a professional accomplishments note on your profile is in the description area. Note that this text box is a fully HTML capable and you can even add links to other pages if you like. In the user picture section you can very conveniently just drag and drop an image from your computer and upload a new image or change your existing image. If you are not comfortable with drag and drop you can even use a file picker like so. This convenient drag and drop interface is available consistently throughout Moodle at locations that involves uploading a picture. Since I already have an existing picture I will leave it as it is for now. The additional names section is very useful in some contexts. For example if your institution has a very large number of students the probability of having students and teachers with the same name is high and so in this case you might want to add some additional quantifiers here. This is also very useful when you have users with non-English language names. The phonetic name text box can then be put to very good use. Typically these settings are used more by the system administrators. The interests text box is designed for users to share more information about themselves. For example, this can potentially help improve social connectivity with students and teachers with similar interests. Finally, the optional section has links to allow your students to connect in several additional optional ways such as through various external social platforms and also through other details that you might choose to share. You can update as much as details as you would wish to share and click on the update profile. Do not forget to click on the update profile else none of the changes you made are saved. And this is a very frequent pitfall with new users. It is a great practice to update your profile as early as possible. Put up a profile picture and fill in as much information as possible as we have seen in this lesson. 